what's up guys in this video we'll look at how to set up the cesium for unreal engine along with google maps api from scratch so we can roam around eiffel tower or world for free all right to get started what we'll do is we'll go to the epic marketplace and we'll type cesium for unreal and you should be able to see something pop up in there and then we'll go with this one. I think it, it is March 30, 2021. So what we'll do next is we'll go ahead and install it to the engine. So I'll click on install to engine and make sure my engine version is selected. I'm using 5.1.1. So I'll go ahead and install it. And then it will take some time to install. And once it is done, you can, it is actually fairly low in size. It's point to ZB and then we'll go to the library and then I'll launch my Unreal Engine uh, so I'm launching 5.1.1 make sure you're launching the version that you installed to and so I'll go ahead to the games and then I'll go to the game the blank template and I'll just type in a cesium toot for my name of the project and then just hit create so once you create, you will be welcome with the default Unreal's uh, game window. We need to go to edit plugin and then type in Cesium for Unreal. Make sure you check on it and then restart the engine. And once you restart the engine, then you should um, basically this is the same layout. So what we'll do next is we'll go to window layout default editor layout and we should be able to see the cesium loaded on the side so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and create a file blank and then a new empty level and then I'm just talking my screen and then I'll go ahead and click on the connect to cesium ion and then I can go ahead and sign in with the epic games and then I'll hit allow and in this portion I think you might have to enter an email so go ahead and enter email and complete the sign-in process and after that I'll just click on allow and then you should be able to see hey please close the screen and you can use the cesium so I'm back in Unreal and I have a blank screen so next what I will do is I'll select the cesium sun sky and hit plus and then you should see a blank to almost the horizon scene and then next I'll go ahead and click on the blank 3d tile set and <clears throat> if I were to click on the cesium tile set yeah pretty much I can use my right click and then next what we'll do is we'll set up the Google Maps so I'll go to the the Google Cloud Console and currently it is free the photorealistic 3d tile so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and click uh, create a new project and I'll just give a new project I think this is just for a Google pro Cloud project So that would be the cesium maps so we'll go ahead and hit, click create and then yeah it will create something and you see that bar on the side saying create so go ahead and select that project um, that it just created on the notification and to find the google maps use the hamburger icon menu and then scroll down it's kind of hidden actually um, and then there should be Google Maps and click on API and it will ask you to create a billing account unfortunately you will have to use your credit card so go ahead and s set up that which I'm not going to show in the video and once you are in, in here another thing you need to do is you need to enable the uh, so the map style API so go ahead on the search bar and type map, map tiles API and click on enable once that is enabled then you can go ahead and click on the credentials and it will load the credentials and if you were to go and click on the show key of course um, I'm gonna copy my API key and paste it on my notepad somewhere and then the next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and click on the cesium 3d tile set and then on the source go ahead and click from URL and then I'll give you the URL in the description so I have it here on my notepad so I'll go ahead and copy that as well 
and then I'll paste in there and then what I will do next is I'll do equal to and then again I'll go back to my notepad and I'm not going to show you my API key and I'll paste in there and once you hit enter then the cesium should load and you should see the tiles loading and yeah you can pretty much uh, see the the tile set yeah loaded and you can pretty much navigate around with your standard unreal navigation you know you can use your right mouse click and then WASD key and all of that stuff um, I'm just doing a so credit on screen because yeah, of course it is using the Google Maps so making sure I'm giving you credit next thing I will do is click on the cesium geo reference and you can see that we can actually put the origin latitude and longitude so I'll go next to my Google Chrome browser and go ahead and copy those latitude and longitude for Eiffel Tower I did have issue with the getting a Taj Mahal and then Bhaktapur Darbar Square so this actually loaded for me uh, though other thing did not load for me so you can see that you can actually in real world photorealistic map of the Eiffel Tower you, so you can pretty much go for virtual scouting with this um, cesium plus Unreal Engine plus yeah Google Maps yeah pretty much I can go around of course uh, not all of the assets are optimized uh, of course the foliage and stuff doesn't render out quite good but of course you can see all the buildings roads uh, all the data that you can think of you need to do for scouting or even if you're to maybe a game designer and want to you know use uh, historical places and you want to capture those big monuments and stuff yeah I think you can pretty much do that yeah I was just roaming around here trying to see all the places you know and you can see that it is still loading in real time yeah and then just exploring some buildings I don't know much about France I have never been there so this was me like trying to explore the places so pretty much the world is your playground now with this cesium plus uh, Google Maps API and uh, utilize it for free because it is currently free uh, hey you can even render uh, some movie shots or cinematic shots using this of course uh, my computer almost went on fire trying to create that intro uh, sequence because it had to I don't know render a whole lot of shaders compile a whole lot of shaders so go ahead and play with the cesium and unreal engine with google maps when it is free and let me know if you have questions comments or concerns until then stay cool and keep learning